Hi, I'm Steve Jones, editor of SQL Server Central and evangelist for Redgate Software. And today I want to show you how you can quickly create development databases with SQL Clone. Now I've got an instance of SQL Server here and I just have a few databases on this, but I want to add a couple more that I can use for development. So in SQL Clone, here's my dashboard and in previous videos we've shown you how to create images. And here I've got this data masker base demo. Now I want to create a clone off this image. It doesn't have any right now, but that's irrelevant. So I can click clone on this page, or I could click the image and click clone on this side. Either way, it takes me to the same dialog. Now I can start typing my instance. In this case, I'm going to select that instance for 2017. You'll notice the SQL clone verifies that the agent can actually access the instance itself and create databases. And next you want to create a clone name. So I'm going to say data masker dev Steve. So I can create a quick clone. You know, this takes a few seconds. Now this is asynchronous because I can actually create another clone at the same time here. And this one I'll call data masker dev grant. So grant and I each have our own separate sandboxes and you'll see the Steve instances online. The grant one is being created. If I flip back over to management studio here and I refresh, you'll see at this point, both of these are created. And if I were to look at this instance, uh, and look at what's the data there. This is all the data that exists and the same data exists in the grant database. These are fully ex, you know, separate databases that exist. If I wanted to update one of them, so let's say update TM customer set, uh, let's see the first name equal to code Steve, where customer T is equal to whatever this value is. Let's just put that in there. And we'll run this statement and we can see that in my grant database, this data, this is updated to Steve. But if I were to switch over to my Steve database, that hasn't changed. They're fully independent databases that I've got available to me. If I wanted to remove one, I could easily do that. Let's delete that clone. And what we'll see is then uh, in a second, that database is actually gone. Let me create a new one. And it's just so we can show you that because this only takes a few seconds. So we'll go ahead data masker demo or dev grant, same database name. That's how quickly I can do it. Certainly there's PowerShell and other automation methods to do that. We'll see that database exists and we'll go back over here to grant and we'll look at the customers and Steve is actually gone now because I've done that. Hopefully this is a quick video to help you learn how you can create clones from SQL clone. If you've got more questions or information, please go to redgate.com and look at the SQL clone system or send an email to sales at redgate.com.